Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNowPhoto.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add a custom thumbnail with text on to your YouTube videos. What we're looking at here is my YouTube channel. So if you search for Scale Speeder on Google or YouTube or Rob Nunn, R O B space N U N N, this is my, and I think if you're subscribed, this is what you see. Um, as you can see, we've got all the thumbnails for my videos on my playlists, and I've added text to them, um, which is quite readable and adds a little bit of something, I think, to whether people will click on the video and actually. Um, play it. Um, so there is a little bit of debate about how effective this could possibly be um, and so whether you'd want to add text or not to your thumbnails will be I'll leave that up to you. However what is definitely true is choosing a good thumbnail can make a difference to whether people actually click on your video to actually watch it or not um, rather than the normal choice of three that YouTube gives you when you upload um, a video. Now, to use this technique, what you're going to need is um, obviously YouTube, open up open up on the pages of your videos on, and you're going to need a copy of Picasa, which is Google's free photo editing software. And you can go to picasa.google.com, that's P-I-C-A-S-A dot Google dot com, and you can download it there. Again, it's free for, um, I don't know if it works on Macs actually, but it definitely works on Windows, let's get rid of that. And then you'll need to fire it up. This is Picasso here. And what you can see here in this particular folder is a load of um, custom thumbnails that I've already created. So what you might want to do is download Picasso, get it all installed. Well, pause the video, download Picasso, get it all installed. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Um, so if you want to pause the video and do that, then come back in a few minutes, um, that'd be great. Okay, so let's imagine you've uh, or you probably you've done all that. So let's go back to YouTube. Um, that's my channel. But what I've done, I've gone into some of my videos here, and here's one that doesn't have a custom thumbnail on it. There's me, beginner's guide to better fab portraits with your DSLR. So you know, compare that video there to maybe that one, which has got some writing on. You know, which one would you click on? Would you be more likely to click on the one with the writing? Maybe. So to create our custom thumbnail, first thing we need to do is just go into the video. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, mute the sound and just pause the video. Actually, we just get past the advert. Right, let's skip the ad. And I'm just going to pause the video. And then all you do is just use your arrow keys to just go through the video and think, right, this is a guide to portraits. <laughs> what you'll find a lot of the time, you'll see all these videos and you'll be like, uh, do I really look like that? And you're just looking for something that looks fairly normal. Uh, that's not too bad, is it? There's me with my camera and there's a, you know, the flash in the background. Let's just see if there's anything else. Just looking for something where I actually look vaguely human and I've got my eyes open. That's quite nice there. So it's quite dynamic, isn't it, with my hand up? Oh, a bit close. Tell you what, let's go back to that one with the camera. I really like that one. Where is it? Uh, that one. I like that one. Now, once you like it, what what you can do is you, you want your kind of captured um, image to be nice and big. So as you can see, this fills up quite a, quite a lot of the, the screen. Because within YouTube, when you're browsing through videos or looking at them, the thumbnails can be in lots of different sizes and they can be really quite large. So I quite like it to this sort of size where it's taking up most of the screen. And all you do at this point with Picasso fired up and running, so I've got Picasso here fired up and running, all you have to do is make sure your mouse isn't anywhere on the screen. If there's any adverts, you know, make sure you get rid of them so all you can see is there. And just print the, press the print screen button on your keyboard. And then you'll see screenshot saved, click to view. And you can press that and that'll take you to Picasso. Um, if, you, if you miss it, just go back into Picasso and what you'll see in your screen captures um, folder, which will be if you slide up and down using the navigator on the right hand side, you'll see it there. And lo and behold, there it is. So all I, all I have to do is double click on that and we're into the editor in Picasso now. Nice and easy. And all we want to do first is crop it. And in the crop sort of selections, you just want to choose 16 by 9. 
which is the ratio that YouTube uses to display its videos at the moment. Um, could change, but I think we're probably going to stick with 16 by 9 for quite a while. And then all you do, just click in the corner, and it's going to constrain that ratio. And then you don't want to do the whole screen, because down at the bottom there's the YouTube little button, and we don't want to include that. Once we've got, got that, we just click Apply, and there we go. There's me with my camera. And now what we want to do is we want to add some text. And in Picasso, it's dead easy. All you do, click on the text button. Um, click on the, I mean, I stick with the font of Arial, but I like the size really to start off at 84. And then I'm just going to nip back to YouTube. So what was the name of this video? Better Guide, Beginner's Guide to Better Fab Portrait. So the first thing this is, it's a beginner's guide. So I'm going to put that at the top. Um, be beginner's guide and then once you've written it if you just move your cursor around if you go to the middle you get the crosshairs and you can bring that up now obviously white text looks a bit boring so if you come down to this section here on the left hand side where my cursor is now you can change uh, the color of the text you can put whatever you like in I quite, I quite like white but then you can also add a um, a kind of, uh, what would you call it, a, a border. So I quite like reds, I think it looks quite good. But you know, you might prefer black. Black, that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, but I tell you what, let's go back to red. I quite like red. But you choose whatever you like. Um, make the border reasonably thick, because although it may, may look a little bit thick here, when you're actually, when it's a small thumbnail, um, you want people to actually be able to, make out the writing um, against the background. Now, if it was a very light background, I would probably change the text to black and, I don't know, change the outline to white, something like that. But play around with it. There's nothing wrong with trying three or four or five different custom thumbnails to find the best one for your video. But for this one, I'm going to go with... Oh, there's like a see-through one there. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with red. So there we go, beginner's guide. Now I'm going to take that. Now you could, um, if you type anything else as well, more words, you can also play around with the um, alignment to do stuff. But for me, I'm just going to have one row at the top. So I'm going to have oh, beginner's guide. And I'm going to click somewhere around here and uh, just put fab portraits. When you start doing a different line of text, you could choose a different size, different colour. You know, I could um, give that a black border, or I could change the text to a different colour. You know, you can do whatever you like. It's so powerful, this, and so simple. Let's go back to white, go back to red. But what I will do is, I think I can increase the font size to 96, and it'll still fit, which it does. Just kind of line that roughly down the middle. Don't worry about going over your face and stuff. Fill the box if you have to with writing. Um, but obviously you can't put your whole video title in because you really want to be working in either 96 or 84 points on the, on the sizes. So once you're happy with it, you just press apply. Beginner's Guide Fab Portraits, that looks quite good. If I change my mind, I can always double click on it and change it, but you know, I like that. And the, the really great thing about Picasso, and if you haven't tried it yet, you know, by all means give it a, give it a try. It's a non-destructive editing process, just like Lightroom is. So although it looks like we've made changes, we haven't actually done anything to this photo. It's just um, uh, changes that are added on. Nothing is baked in um, until we actually export it to a different copy. So all you do if you come down to the bottom, see where it says export. We just click on that, and then choose a, a folder where you'll know where it is, and use original size. So I just say that and I export it, and it fires it into my folder, which is there. So now, now I've exported that as a JPEG, I can go back to YouTube, and just, just, just go back, and you'll notice that next to the thumbnail for this video, if I go back down to it, one of the things you, it's added is add custom thumbnail, which is there, or if you go into edit, and you click on that one, you'll have customized thumbnail down here and all you do is just click on that navigate to the folder that has your um, custom thumbnails in, in this case I'm already there click on the one you want, say open 
and that will then upload it and at this point have a look at it and think oh do I like that if you think the white doesn't work and you'd rather go with black maybe with a white border you know you can tr you can change that change it as many times as you like and once you've uploaded it click on save changes um, now sometimes when you try and navigate or navigate away from that too fast it won't let you so just let it do its business for you know a couple of minutes now if we now go back into my videos what you'll see probably is if we come down all right it's updated already beginner's guide to fab portrait but don't worry if you don't see that updated thumbnail straight away sometimes it can take a day for it to for youtube to populate those um thumbnails through all the different sort of sizes and um, and then what you can do is if we now go back to let's have a look at my channel there we go and it kind of becomes a little bit of addictive actually because once you've done a few of these custom thumbnails you tend to go right okay <laughs> and you end up doing loads and obviously the trick is that once you've started doing the custom thumbnails every time you add a new YouTube new, new um, video put a custom thumbnail on and then when you have a spare few minutes this is what I do when you know when I'm thinking of oh, what am I going to do tonight you know I'm not going to do a video I'm not going to do a post not going to do any photography I'll spend sort of 10 minutes just adding a few custom thumbnails and I think they do do make a difference um, and I much prefer my thumbnails with writing on where I've chosen um, my own thumbnail rather than the ones that YouTube chooses okay so that's it from me hope you found the video useful if you have please subscribe or like the video my name's Rob from robnumphoto.com you can email me scalespeeder at gmail.com and hopefully I'll see you again soon